Hey everyone, Drew Serrano here from the USBA WBA, and I just want to tell you I'm excited. Ontario Breaking Championships, right around the corner, guys, May 26th, and this is going to be our first time going up there. We've been to a lot of other events, obviously, in the USBA WBA circuit, but we've never been able to make it up, or I've never been able to make it up to the Ontario Breaking Championships. So this is going to be exciting for me uh, to see it. It's been a, a great event from what we've seen in the past, from all the videos and the pictures. Uh, Master Field runs a great event. He's been running for a number of years now, and uh, there's some great talent up that way. So we're really looking forward to seeing uh, all the breakers, all the USBA, WBA, Canadian family. We're looking forward to being up there. Also, Master Field had asked me to teach a couple seminars the night before, which is Friday, May 25th. So I'm going to be teaching a couple seminars uh, in self-defense. This is not going to be a breaking-related seminar. This is going to be about self-defense. Uh, I know a lot of people out there that look us, look at us breakers and they think, well, that must be all they do is break. But for the most part, as you guys know, USBA, WBA breakers, I know a lot of you that, you know, you, you spend 80, 90% of your time really focusing on just your style. And then the other 10 or eight or 10 or 20% of the time, yeah, we're doing breaking, uh, especially if there's a competition coming up, but we all have individual styles. Our style happens to be uh Kantau. And one of our big felt focuses is on uh, self-defense, realistic self-defense, especially for the adults. So we're going to be doing, or I'm going to be doing two seminars. And the kids' seminar, uh, May 25th, that Friday, is going to be from 5.30 to 6.30. And then I'm doing an adult seminar basically right after 6.45 to 8 p.m. So for the kids' seminar, my plan is to do a, a little bit of peer-to-peer, -peer, so, you know, child-to-child -child self-defense. And then also address a couple scenarios for abduction prevention, okay, if an adult tried to grab a child. And then for the adults, uh, I got a couple special things planned, hopefully things that they haven't seen before. One drill, or maybe a couple drills, uh, about multiple attackers, if multiple attackers are attacking you, just to give you a feel for what that's like. And then we'll probably address a couple different scenarios, maybe a punch scenario, uh, a counter off a punch, maybe a stick attack, knife attack, gun disarm. If you guys have any individual questions, maybe I'll be able to address those as well. But also what I want to bring into that is the uh, mentality that you have when you're breaking and how that should be applied to your self-defense, especially if it's realistic. Guys, if you know you don't want to use self-defense, obviously, none of us want to get in that situation. But God forbid we did. We need to use that mentality that we use to smash through a stack of boards, smash through a pile of bricks or kick through a bat. We need to use that mentality to defend ourselves, uh, to get out of there safely. So, again, that's going to be May 25th, the Friday before the tournament, 530 to 6.30, uh, kids, and then 645 to 8 p.m., adults. Get there early so you can stretch so I don't have to waste time stretching. You know, we'll just get right into it as soon as it starts. We'll get there early, stretch out. And then that Saturday, the Ontario Breaking Championships, really looking forward to that. I know Sifu Keith Fanning has come from Ireland. Looking forward to seeing him and all you guys. So, looking forward to seeing you all. Hope to see you at the seminar and the tournament. Take care. See you soon.